our life experience shapes us into who we are. And uh, my life was one of loss, uh, neglect, abuse and trauma. Art, particularly music, was the thing that shaped my negative perception into positive. When I loathed myself, it was the part of me I allowed to grow. And as I grew to love music, which was a huge part of me, I just grew to love myself. After not doing particularly well at school, partly to do with dyslexia as well as my emotional issues at the time, I'd given up on education and just got factory jobs. Music led me to read because being a rapper I needed lyrics and this got me reading friends recommendations of philosophy as well as autobiographies and fictional books which challenged my perception of the world and my understanding of myself. After receiving a letter on my 21st birthday from my real family it took me like three years to respond because I didn't feel I had much to offer. I was also full of anger because uh, I thought they had abandoned me, which uh, wasn't the case. The thing that most struck me in the letter was my uncle was a musician and I even found out that my mum used to sing. I finally met my real family which filled up a massive hole of my identity, culture and heritage. It just kind of made sense who I was. I went back to college supported by my granddad and at the same time I began to work with Troubled Youth, teaching them how to write rhymes. I left the town I grew up in where I never felt like I belonged and ended up in Edinburgh. I used my rhyming to process my past and I've learned through, you know, personal counselling as well as taking a counselling course, the way trauma impacts people, which uh, helped me to understand and make more sense out of why I struggled. I realised that what I saw was a curse of my past and, you know, now is shaping up to be the passion of my future. I used this information to spread knowledge in my rhymes and through the counselling of others. I just basically wanted to let you know that like, art helps us to heal and to grow.